to each era its own small Renault. Each one of these cars has fully delivered on innovation, versatility, and pleasure, accompanying changes in society with a positive attitude and optimism, becoming true automotive icons. The war has been over for a few months. Europe is starting to rebuild, and the population is once again able to think about the future and return to a more peaceful reality. For those looking to head out on the roads and enjoy their new freedom, the 4CV was the perfect solution. The rear-engine car, designed by engineers in secret during the war, was roomy enough for a family and its luggage. The new model's competitive price tag made car ownership a possibility for many. The 4CV marked the post-war years. Simple and playful, it appeared to a broad public, from the working classes to the middle classes. The post-war boom is on. The economy is recovering, innovation is rife, and living standards are improving. Families are going out, enjoying their free time, and mad about exploring wide open spaces. It was for these families that Renault created the Renault 4L. The 4L would become a legend with its revolutionary and practical tailgate, offering easy loading access for all the family and its luggage. Renault's first real car for living, the 4L, is the third best-selling car model in automotive history, selling over 8 million units worldwide. Morals have loosened in the wake of the events of 1968. Most Europeans enjoy greater freedom, and their leisure activities and travel are becoming more diverse. This euphoric period was to come to an abrupt end in 1973 with the first oil crisis. The Renault 5, with its low fuel consumption, arrived at exactly the right time. It was a new kind of small car, boasting appeal with its friendly face and versatility, with its smart bumpers made out of synthetic materials for protection when parking. Launched in 1972, the Renault 5 quickly found its public and went on to achieve lasting success. In the mid-1980s, Renault replaced the Renault 5 with the Super 5. Produced in 8.5 million units, the 5 under its various forms continues to hold a special place in the hearts of motorists. It was also released in high-energy sports versions like the R5 Alpine and R5 Turbo that gained legendary status. The crisis continues. Economies are undermined and fuel prices are on the rise. But the Berlin Wall has recently fallen, opening up a new future for Europe. The dichotomy is in place. We want to dream of a better future, but everyday life keeps us from doing so. And then came Twingo, a thoroughly original city car that shook up the automotive paradigm. Launched with one engine and four bright colors, Twingo put a smile on people's faces, even by dint of its name. A blend of twist, swing, and tango. Twingo, à vous d'abonder la vie qui va avec. The first small single box car on the market, it boasted an irresistibly joyful gaze and unique body styling with an ultra short nose and a useful cabin length of 1.78 meters. The new model was an unprecedented success at the Paris Motor Show, standing as Renault's little crisis proof car. Twingo was perfect for all kinds of motoring and was sighted as much on the open road as it was in the city and often full to bursting. In a globalized and some would say homogenized world, we have a right to seek out distinction. New technologies are opening up a new world of expression and freedom, one in which participating and playing are key. It is in this new society that new Twingo is to carve out its place and put smiles on people's faces. Fun, ultra maneuverable and connected, still small outside and big inside, the new model is designed for the city. It once again sets the tone with its bright body colors, giving owners full reign to express themselves. New Twingo is a worthy heir to Renault's classic small cars and the eternal optimism of Twingo. While boasting its own distinct personality, like its forerunners, it is innovative, for-living and full of soul. It also responds to the demands of an ever-changing society. Renault's new small car is a breath of fresh air in the urban landscape. <laughs>